kamusta po ang pakiramdam na kayo'y naturukan na ng two doses ng COVID-19 vaccine? Siyempre, I was very grateful kasi uh, at the beginning of the, the rollout, we have only um, a specific amount of vaccine. So, nung tinanong nila ako nung first day na nagbigay ako ng vaccine kay Maggie, they asked me if I was going to have it. And I said, of course, I will have it. And if I do have it, I said, na, I would feel very grateful. Kasi we know na at the minute, katulad na yun sa second, um, second wave of the uh, pandemic dito sa amin, there was uh, researches that they were saying that it's more um, deadly, the second type or the 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 other virus that had mutated. Yeah, the they UK said it's variant. more deadly. And because, yes, yeah, so, um, alam din natin na uh, for Black, Asian, and minority ethnics, where we belong, we're Asian, so we are part of the BAME, we are um, more affected than normal. So we are disproportionately affected by the, the virus. So sa akin, I have two young kids. They are 18 and 13 years old. And for me to be able to avail of the vaccine, it means that I'm protecting myself from from dying from the virus. And then that means I can be with my, my family for longer. I can do the job of nursing for longer. So for me, I'm really grateful that I actually managed to get or avail the vaccine. So I had my first dose in December 9, which is the day after Maggie's. Uh, and then I had my second dose on the 30th of December. So the first dose, medyo masakit lang yung, ano niya, yung injection site, but after a day, it was no, back to normal. And then with the second dose, I had it in the morning and then I was working. Um, it was a little bit uncomfortable sa, sa injection site, pero also I felt the, um, you know, the, like the muscle pain, like the achy pain, pero I wasn't sure if it's because I'm really tired or I was really, you know, Pagod na pagod na yung katawang ko, pati kaluluwa ko, pagod na pagod na. So I wasn't really sure if it's that or <laughs> the vaccine. Oh, But I oh. think um, I took paracetamol that night of the second vaccine, second dose. Pero the next day I was okay. Wow, that's good to hear. Ngayon, how are you feeling right now, Nurse May? I'm fine. I'm fine. So basically... Um, I have never had the antibodies. I've never had the COVID, COVID since March. No March, no first, um, first wave namin, I was um, redeployed in intensive care. I was there for three weeks. So those were the times when we weren't sure about the, about the virus. And even then, I didn't get COVID. So that means my PPE was working. Tapos, this second wave, I am exposed to the COVID wards because I was the, um, the manager there, I'm the matron of the areas. And up till now, um, we're doing um, two weeks, every four weeks of blood test because we're part of the research program to see about um, those people that are symptomatic, but they kind of get the, the virus unknowingly. So I get my blood test every four weeks. And up until now, I don't have the antibodies, which means that I haven't been exposed to the COVID. So obviously wearing your mask and washing your hands and keeping your distance from everyone else works. It does work. Wow, thank God, Nurse May, for that. <laughs> that's, that's a good news. Nurse May, having said that, no, ano po yung masasabi ninyo sa mga kapwa natin Pilipino dito sa Pilipinas na may agam-agam o takot na magpapakuna laban sa COVID-19? Ang masasabi ko po is that kung sila ay um, makaka-avail ng bakuna, I would definitely advise them to go for it. Kasi po, hindi po natin alam eh, until na magkaroon, until na ma-infect ka with the COVID um, virus, hindi po natin alam, hindi po tayo makakasiguro kung mamamatay tayo doon or not. So, ang ang bakuna po, it decreases that um, possibility na mamamatay sila if they get the COVID vaccine, uh, COVID um, infection. So, For me, to say to someone na mga kababayan natin na pag ikaw nagkaroon ka ng COVID, you are rest assured na kahit na magkaroon ka o ma-infect ka, hindi ka mamamatay, sino ang hindi, sino ang, hindi aayaw, sino ang aayaw sa bakuna? So I would definitely 
advice for our kababayans to get the vaccine kasi po it will save your life it will literally save your life um sa mga hindi po masyadong alam po ano po ang yung mga detalye tungkol dun sa bakuna i would suggest po na they go to their doctors they go to their um health practitioners to get the real information and to get the accurate information rather than listening to gossip or listening to chismes or listening to their friends na, you know they're not really sure where they're getting their information from and sometimes um people has different agendas po so kunyari sa jario you you cannot trust sometimes ko ano yung sasabihin nila sa jario kasi it's sometimes there's a different agenda to it um so what i would suggest is look at the researches look at the the information the facts the facts around the vaccine instead of listening to gossip because i have had it and i feel so even though i still keep my distance even though i'm still very um with my ppe i'm very compliant with my ppe and my hand hygiene it just means to show na kung, kung ano man ang mangyari, kung magkaroon ako ng COVID, I know that hindi ako, hindi ako mamamatay kasi I have that protection. So, I would, I would definitely advise people to get it.